Today I will be spending $1,000 on TCG Player. What's up guys, we're back with another video. Today I'm gonna be spending $1,000 on TCG Player and we're gonna see if I can buy the right cards that will go up enough in one year to beat in like just a regular index fund. Usually if you invest in a regular index fund, it goes up like seven to 8% per year. So I'm gonna buy some cards and see if the cards that I buy go up seven to 8% or more in the next year. That means that I wanna buy cards that I think have potential to increase in value over the course of a year. We'll probably check in on this, maybe Maybe like at the six month period or something like that. House of Champs did something similar to this where he bought some cards, some ultimate rares and invested in them. I'm just going to buy any cards that I think could go up and we're going to check on it maybe at the six month, maybe a quarter and next January 1st, where will these cards be? Did they go up in value? Is Yu-Gi-Oh! a better investment than just traditional investing? But before we get into it, we have a giveaway. I'm giving away these three foil bleed cards from the Brothers of Legend set. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know, do you think Yu-Gi-Oh! can be a better investment than just a general safe index fund or something like that? My first idea for an item was Blue Eyes White Dragon. Of course, obviously, that's usually a good one. But what Blue Eyes White Dragon am I thinking of? The Ultimate Rare Blue Eyes, which only came in the Started at Kaiba Reloaded. They are still very cheap. I think that these have good potential to actually go up. So we're going to go through here and see if we do Near Mint. I think we want to do Near Mint. What is the first edition? It's $25. Actually, $30. Do we think we have a better chance with Unlimited? These are only eight. Maybe we'll buy like a couple of each or one of each. So let's buy, let's buy this. This. And then let's get this uh, one from Collector's Cash, this $30 one for first edition. So we're getting a first edition and an unlimited. Right now our subtotal is $33.93. So let's see. Another card that I wanted to buy was the Brothers of Legend of Dusted Gold because I think this card's really cheap. It's very hard to pull. It's a much nicer looking version than the original because it's a secret rare. However, their legendary Duelist Season 3 could come out and mess with this. But I think we're going to buy one of these. It's $13. If it seems really cheap for the best looking version of a two print card, that's actually pretty good. Another card I really like is Silent Swordsman Level 5. I don't know what it's going to be priced at. Let's see if it's actually worth buying. Near Mint, $75, $86. Do I think that'll go up? That is a little bit high. I do really want this card, though, so that might be, like, kind of the reason we buy it. It has gone down, it looks like. The Unlimited is actually really cheap. Maybe we go with the Unlimited. First edition, well, first edition was at $138. Interesting. This one's at $87. I think we're going to buy it. All right, $133. All right, I filter to the most expensive items on TCG Player right now. Someone has a Platinum Blue Eyes at $5,000. we have got a $4,300 deck, or not a deck, a box. A Blue Eyes White Dragon from DDS. I mean, some of this stuff is crazy. we got the Harpy's Feather Duster. Amazon is Chain Master from Retro Pack 1. 10K Dragon, Apollosa. I mean, these are above our $1,000 budget, so we got to go to the next page to see. Uh, I would like to get something sort of expensive to add in. Ooh, Ecclesia is pretty nice. At the, up at $750 now. That is insane. Max C is always just insane. Triple Tactics Town of course dd assailant nothing i think that we can afford there uh effect veiler i would like another one of these i wonder what the low is oh my gosh they're 710 dollars oh my goodness when i bought them they were like 400 so uh yeah maybe they're a little bit too expensive i think for us to go in on right now Ooh, a necro face that would be fun that would be fun to buy a necro face let's see it's hard but at this point when you're at 500 dollars or whatever like how much more is it going to go up like in a year who knows it might go up but there's a good chance it also goes down okay we've got a prosperity a lot of cool stuff here but uh nothing it's all too expensive we got to get to where it's like in the 300 range probably before we buy something another dd crow i do have one of these 424 okay too much we could buy a dds exodia a retro pack one blue eyes oh it's italian i was gonna say 300 we're gonna buy that 1500 probably not Night Assailant is nice. Lumina is very cool. Oh, ooh, ooh, a tour guide. That would be pretty cool. Uh, Lois near mint is 450. Okay, too much. We got to find some cool card that I actually want to buy that is, I think, a good deal. Droplet, I'm a little scared, you know, with reprints coming probably this year. It, this price is going to go down, so I wouldn't buy that. Wait, Starlight Rare Lightning Storm? Is this low? 298 hmm do we buy a lightning storm i kind of want to buy a lightning storm because one i want this card and two 300 for a starlight that's really good i mean i i feel like maybe it's not being used as much right now but if it goes back into the format and gets really good i kind of like this card I wouldn't usually recommend like meta to to go up but if there is anything it's a starlight lightning storm Let's get it. All right, so we're at $432. So we've still got over $500 to spend. We will see if that Lightning Storm is a good investment, you know, at some point in the next time we check in. All right, let's keep going through here. Uh, we did we bought a $300 Lightning Storm. That's pretty exciting. Um, also really expensive. We owe some Turbo Pack Chaos Sorks. Those are cool. Uh, Rose, we got a Frost, Starlight Rare. Just a bunch of Starlights. I don't think we want to buy another Starlight. We've already got one part of our investment in Starlight. So we're not going to do that. Fake Veil, wait, didn't we already see this? 
Oh, it's $345 now. Never mind. So probably gold rare crush cards that much. I almost bought these for like 40 bucks. Oh, that hurts so much. Duelist League promos. I, Dark Revelation 4 Satellite Cannon. I, w I was hoping that was the CPO one because I do have the PSA 10 of that. There's a lot of World Championship Pack 2010 cards on here. Probably not going to be what we're going to buy. Foolish Burial. As low as $43. Let's just get bought out. $290. Ooh, that's not happening. I feel like a super rare. Yeah, it's a super rare. Ghost rare. Wait, what? There's no way there's a near mint one on here. Oh, unlimited. I was like, ah. Oh. First edition's up at 500. Yeah. Oh, man, that stinks. That would have been sweet. Wow, look at this Harvey's Feather Duster. It's. <laughs> How is this a $209 market price? Wow, that's the game promo one. That is insane. Okay. I guess we could technically buy like a deck too. That would be kind of fun. Ghost rare of that. Yeah, we're not too excited about that. White hole from tournament pack one. Wait, is there a near mint? I don't actually own one of these. No, there's not a near mint. Okay, yeah, I was like, that's actually cheap for that. World Championship 2004, GBA promo. Okay. Ooh, Strike of Neos, Air Neos. What do you think Air Neos is at these days? There's no way there's a first edition one for near mint. $800. Okay, that sounds about right. Unlimited $350. Yep, that's a lot. Unfortunately, no, no not getting that. That's just too expensive. A nice morphine jar. I have a lot of those, so probably not. Ooh, Droll and Lockbird. I already have a play set of these. Yeah, $194. We probably don't want to buy that. Thunder King, Ryo, cool. Nibiru, Ultima Nibiru. It's a little expensive for that, I think. We need to buy something old school, I think, because we haven't had a lot of old school yet. Ultimate Rare Stratos. This card went way down. You think it was because of the Starlight? Probably not, but $145. No. Oh, that was Korean. Okay, $145. Card looks pretty nice. Or $149, sorry. I sold mine for like $90, so this is going to hurt, but I kind of want to get this. Let's get this. Okay, it's getting kind of expensive here. Magician of Faith as low as 650, but it's a set 175. That's really weird. Okay, Pot of Avarice could be kind of nice with, you know, alt formats coming back. It's at $200 though, so probably not. Yugi Evolution Box. We've got Ghost from the Past. Ooh, Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit Ulties is nice. We've got some Monarchs. That's cool. Speed Duel Tournament Pack 2. Is this sort of some sort of reward or something like that? Why is that card so expensive? <laughs> I think it must be some sort of, like, you win a tournament or something like that to get it. Um, Miracle Fusion. DD Crow is here. DD Crow is not this cheap. I know that for sure. This is in the wrong spot. Uh, if it's, like, actually near mint, it's $379 for a first edition. Wow. Dark Illusion boxes are expensive. Wow, I didn't realize that. The Creator? What's the creator going for? $14 for heavily played. Wow, that's actually cheap. $110 for a first edition. Yeah, the problem with the the near men of that is the back is going to be a little bit messed up because that's just how Rise of Destiny is. So it's, you kind of get a light play even when it's near mint. Ooh, this looks... Is, is there a cheap version of this? No, there's not. Ah, oh, that's such a cool card. Okay, there's almost nothing cheap that's old school anymore. Everything is just insane. Let's see about the UFO Red Fighter. 200 for a Korean version, I think. So, Necro Valley is an ultimate? I didn't even realize that. That's from Astro 4, which is one of the hardest things ever to find. It's insane. Ten Key is an ultimate rare. We got Power of the Duelist stuff. We got a Ghost Rare Honest. I know there's not a good price for that one. I'm not even going to look. <laughs> I would buy a Sukiyomi, but I just got three of them, so I don't need it. Red Eyes Flare Metal, is there a near mint for like an okay price? Near mint unlimited. What about first edition? Oh, $110? A guy with one sale? Do we go with the guy with one sale, or do we go with the guy with 522, 100%, but he's 28 more dollars? That's the tough decision here. I think we got to go with this guy. One sale. I mean, anything could happen there. I don't know if we want to we wanna do that. And by the way, if you guys want to see me open up these packages when I get them in a video, let me know. Yeah, we'll go with 138 bucks just to be safe, but I like that card. I've always really liked it. $721. We now have $280 left. Let's see what we can get now. Oh, okay. We have Astral Leviathan. Look at this price. This thing absolutely tanked. That's what I like to see. Maybe we should buy one of these. That's a German one. We don't want that. Uh, I usually like to buy from verified sellers. These guys do not have good feedback. These guys just don't have a lot of sales. So let's go with, we'll buy one for $110. You guys think this can go up in a year? I mean, it's, what has Utopia done? Has Utopia gone up? Let's check it real quick. Okay, let's see the Utopia. Let's go one year when it came out. So it started out at 435. It went up to 500. And now it's back down at 425. So it's about where it started. So that doesn't make me feel great. However, this was a $400 card rather than a 100. I want to buy it. Let's go for it. $831. Okay, we have $170 left. We are running a little low now. We have bought a lot of expensive stuff. So, okay, we have Forbidden Chalice as a cool card. I think that might not be the best one to buy, though. Not that we've necessarily bought the best stuff right now, but ooh, we could buy a structure deck. That would be kind of fun. This is a $100 structure deck, Warrior's Triumph. Let's buy it. Let's get some sealed. I like this. All right, we have $70 left now. 
Oh, Dragon's Roar is 102? What? Oh, it's unlimited. That's why. Wait, was the other one we bought unlimited? If it was unlimited, maybe we should not get that. But uh, we'll check it out in a second. Oh, the brain control. That's cool. Sacred Phoenix. There's no way there's a cheap, good version of this. Near Mint, 100 bucks. It's not terrible, actually. We could buy we could buy Halka Fibrax. We've got a Retro Pack 1 Sangan. I wonder how much those cost. Too much. Halka Fibrax is 85. It's a little bit too much. I don't think we have enough for that. Solemn Warning. Looking a little too expensive in first edition. You could buy Unlimited for 70, which is about what we have left. Unlimited Ulti. It's definitely going to be lower. Let's see. That puts us at exactly 1,063 cents. Let's see if that... Was that deck first edition that we bought let me let me check out the cart it is first edition is this what we want to go with so let's do a little review of what we're going to buy not a lot of stuff so we have a lightning storm we also have the leviathan dragon astral so everything's near mint first edition if possible uh except here we have unlimited solemn morning but it's a nice card ultimate rare that is used a lot and if past formats come back it could go up a little bit blue eyes white dragon we bought one of these in first edition because it's just the only ultimate rare very cool silent swordsman i just like this card it's an ultimate rare it's kind of cheap for first edition near mint for such an old set i think a dust of gold is very cheap for how hard it is to pull and if this is the only secret rare like if they don't reprint this as a secret in legend of duel season three this card will be really nice i think in the future blue eyes we got an unlimited one for eight bucks i think that's a great deal because the ultimate rare is just really nice it's the only option we bought one sealed item it's a warrior's triumph structure deck structure decks have actually been kind of going up recently so i kind of want to hold on to at least one thing and then we have an ulti stratos very good and then we have a ghost rare red eyes flare metal this is a card that i've always wanted and i don't own so that's another reason i'm buying i also think it's kind of cheap for a ghost rare of a really nice one as well so that's our 1000 it goes to 1007 but you know the shipping doesn't really count the tax and stuff so we will see what the prices of these go for in about you know a few months or a year when they actually come back if you guys like this sort of shopping spree video and just seeing how the, the cards will do in the future, maybe we can do this on a different platform or something. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and shout out to TC Trusted Cards, Stone Info Show, Tomato Juice, Noah J, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimi Gecko, Duelist Gaming Cards, and Spanky McFarlane. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.